is the session of a fracture neck demo. I am uh, going to show, show one or two cases. Now this is the fracture neck demo case. A 17 year old male fell down from bicycle treated by osteopath and presented to hospital. You can see this is a 17 year old and it is 2003 therefore you don't ask me a good x-ray. Uh, this was the x-ray. You can see there is a shortening of the neck and then after one month it was treated by immediate with and additional uh, fibular graft. So fibular spread graft was there and you can see here is the drainage of the infection, excision by spoon and additional fibular spread graft without opening the fracture by uh, impaction technique. So follow up after one year and two year, you can see that the fracture has united very well and fibula is also incorporated and you can see the uh, neck is narrowed down and the only the fibula is uh, acting as a neck in the fracture neck of the femur in this picture and you can see at subsequent follow up one year and two year. So union of the fracture and complete incorporation of the graft and fibula is acting as a neck rather than the original neck. So after a three years of follow up, 20 years of age, complaining of pain in the hip and inability to sit and squat, X-ray revealed a collapse of the femoral head, avian secondary to fracture fixation. So I wish to ask the panelist, Dr. Chandak sir, uh, what is uh, your take on this case? And after three years of follow up with a complete collapse and two screws inside, and probably they are going in So, you know, ununited or a delayed presentation, uh, internal bone grafting and use of fibula is a valuable tool. However, AVN cannot be predicted and whenever it happens, it needs a So, in it already three years have passed, already one fibular graft was there. This is a 3 year follow up, 20 years of age and you can see here there is a flattening of the femoral head. So is it possible to save this femoral head, Chetan sir? I don't think it is possible but since you are showing it, I think you may have done something to save it. <laughs> because. You are one surgeon who can achieve the impossible. So, then after 2017, after uh, 10 years of follow up, you can see uh, 14 years of index surgery, he came for revision as there was, he, he came for revision as there was no pain in hip, but limitation of movement and unable to squat, unable to sit. So X-ray revealed the intra-articular migration and flattening and deformed. So 14 years after index surgery. So till that time I asked him, he was painless. But he is not able to squat and sit and he want to marry. And therefore he wants something better hip joint. So what should be done? What should be done? Now he is, uh, this is uh, 2017. So, X-ray revealed intolerant for migration, flat on deformed head. Probably everybody will think that this is not a savable hip and probably you must go ahead with the, the joint replacement. He is so used to living with this hip. His brain is somehow got used to this hip. So just take the screws out. Maybe he will come back after five more years. Maybe. So then I said, I will not be able to give you a better uh, hip joint, but I can remove your screw. So he ran away. And then again after 2018, he came with the pain and inability to walk after fall from motorcycle. And X-ray revealed the intra-articular migration, flattened deformed head, and you can see uh, there is a breakage of the screw inside. There was a breakage of the screw inside. So what I did, I did a, a removal of the screw by Gange operation 
and then I did a chelotomy because he was not ready for joint replacement surgeon. So then what I did, a chelotomy and a kind of operation and removed the screws. He was very much happy, but there was a, some shortening and there was a, some rotational deformity. He said, is this a possibility to do something better? And then again I did, after three months, abduction osteotomy. 2019 after six months and you can see patient is able to see it and squat after three months of surgery and then ultimately what I did April 2020 a full function and it is very difficult to uh, say which fracture which bleed is involved and now you can see this is the video of this after a one year follow up and uh, you can see a perfect functional outcome and though there is a deformed femur head still Rajiv, ye kithar diya hai kya? and so anywhere this has been published or yeah. anywhere anything have you seen uh, ever no sir it's not been published but uh, these Japanese now are gone crazy after after uh, covid they are starting to do rotational osteotomies some patients get used to that hit and then he just, he just shifted the weight bearing axis now and that just problem out. Another very interesting case I will show you. Probably it is not described, uh, it is rarely described in literature. Susruth has one or two cases uh, of this type and he is going to discuss with interest this topic. This is a concomitant intra and extra articular fracture of the neck of the femur in a patient. So he is a bifocal femoral trochanteric fracture, 20 year male motor vehicular accident presented with externally rotated limb and grass swelling. And you can see this is the X-ray pattern. Greater rotate is totally shattered, global combination, intracapsular fracture, and extending into towards the lesser trochanter. And these are the all 3D CT images. 2D, these are you can see here there is a combination, intraarticular uh, this uh, fracture neck of the femur, and overriding of this trochanter. So in a such a situation, a bifocal femoral fracture, uh, it, uh, it occurs mostly in osteoporotic fracture with low energy fall, but sparsely reported in, in adults. Combined neck and trochanteric fracture do not belong to any classification system. So Shushrut sir, what is your opinion on this fracture? Uh, fix it, fix it. So, this is how it is. What is the choice of implant? Chandak sir, what will be the choice of implant in this case? What will be your choice of implant? and a DHS. And a PSP. So, screw and DHS. So, what I did now, I will tell you. This is the CR images. You can see intracapsular fracture and it's a global. So, TFN, I thought I will do it uh, TFN, but it was not possible because of the trochanteric combination and may produce a wedge effect. So, on table, uh, you can see here what are the images, and then I thought why not to do the intrafocal manipulation and see whether the fracture can be reduced. So, plan to perform a close PFN and Perkin is true uh, uh, manipulation, but I thought it is also not coming very fast. So, the surgery was challenging because of loss of medial buttress, lateral wall of fracture and floating head neck. Entry point of nail was very difficult. Changed to plan to a condylar blade thread system. And then after a open reduction, I fixed first the trochanter with the femoral head and you can see how nicely though it was looking a very bad trochanter the anatomy is restored as well as 
the subcutaneous extension. And then with this, a 120 degree condylar plate plate. After remembering our Guru Tanna Sir, I did this condylar plate plate with great grace and with additional screw. You can see here and ultimately on table fixation. and then immediate post op there is a void on the posterior aspect still there 10 weeks follow up 6 month follow up and now it's 18 month follow up you can see you will not be able to see which fracture which neck is fractured here he is playing cricket at 18 months follow up still there there is some defect but there is a bone formation so condylar plate plate gives a best fixation and you can see after 18 months of follow there is no change in the configuration of the fracture as well as and you can see a very good callus formation at the thank you very much